branch size. This guy is in with the taper and the ramification a lot. We're going to talk about all these things together in leaf size. Um, we're going to talk about all these things together in just a minute. Uh, first though, branch placement. Um, or the uh, the direction of the, of the tree where the branch is growing. Why, why would that make a tree look old? What, what about that could make a tree look older? Gary? Well, if it's like bent down, hanging over the pot like that, and it looks like it's somewhere, you know, and it was blown over by wind or something like that. Right, uh, okay. That's, that's fine for like a semi-cascade or a cascade. What about just a normal informal upright? What about branch placement or direction that the branches are growing there? What can make the tree look older? I think um, giving trunk space. If you start from the very bottom, then put look as if the trunk is not too old. You're absolutely right. Yeah, the tree, if you have branches too low in the trunk, the trunk doesn't look old. Yeah, it takes away from it. But let's think about old trees. Young trees are shooting up for the sky, trying to get light. They're growing understory underneath all the other trees in the forest. So they're reaching, reaching, reaching. All the branches are growing up like this. Now the tree gets a little older and the branches are getting a little larger, maybe a little bit heavier. And now maybe it's gone through a few seasons of snow or it's born a few seasons of fruit. And it's gone through a few years of having gravity tug at it like it tugs on all of us as we get older. Things start to droop a little bit, right? <laughs> Everybody knows about the sagging, right? All right. So the lower branches on old trees tend to face downwards. They tend to go downwards, okay? As they come up on the tree, they tend to level off a little bit. And then when you get in the top third of the tree, their branches are growing up again because they're new growth or young growth. Okay, so that's what I what I want you to achieve. Your older branches on old trees should be it should be angled downwards. Show that age, you know. All right, that doesn't mean you want the tree to look weak. Remember, these trees are strong. They're survivors. They're tough. That's why they're 600 years old or look like they are. Okay, but you want to show that it's been through that struggle. Part of the story. Okay. Shape of the tree. Remember I was just saying that the tree, lower branches will grow down and as it comes up it, they level off and as they come up they start forming this crown. Let's think about why that happens. All, right? all trees are programmed by nature to grow to a certain height if it's the same variety. So if, you have, if you've ever been fortunate enough to be up on a mountaintop somewhere and you look out over a forest, it looks flat. All those trees are growing within a few feet of each other. Part of the survival net mechanism, you know? They all grow to the same height, they all get equal amounts of sun, they all survive, the species is stronger, all right? So, if all, those, all these elms that we're, maybe that we're looking at are programmed by nature to grow to 45 feet, then they grow to a length, I'm not gonna say height, I'm gonna say length for a reason. They grow to a length of, fo length of 45 feet, and they stop. The plant can't grow any higher. It doesn't, have the, it doesn't have the hydraulic mechanism or whatever to supply nutrients up any higher because of its internal structure, because of the kind of roots it has. All right? It'll grow to 45 feet and it'll stop. Can't grow any higher. Doesn't die, but it just won't grow any higher. Well, the next branch that's coming along wants to grow to a height, a length, not a height, a length of 45 feet. So it's growing to 45 feet, but it can't occupy the same space. It's like throwing out darts at a dart board. You know, only one can hit that bullseye, and the rest of them kind of got to scatter around to some degree. They can't, they can't occupy this, the points can't occupy the same place. So the next branch has to grow out to the side a little bit. Now it's still growing to 45 foot length, but since it's taking a slightly more circuitous route, it doesn't grow to a height of 45 feet like the other one. It's still growing to 45 feet, but it's going to be a little lower. And then the next one's going to come down. It can't occupy the same pace, place. It's going to grow to 45 feet, so it's going to be a little lower. And so on. So young trees, since they're reaching, for, they have this leader that just reaches for the sky, all right, 
tend to have very, and they might have some branches down here. <coughs> All right, they tend to be very arrow shaped or pointed, leading away, trying to grow up to their point. Once they get to that height, that length that they can grow to, though, the branches start growing. And old trees have a crown on them, a rounded crown. It's a very subtle thing, but you'll notice that when you see old trees out in nature, they look domed. All right. Want to see something really old? Go out in the Everglades and look at the uh, at the bald cypress domes. It's not just the trees that are growing that way, but you have whole domes of trees, whole whole um, pods of trees that grow in the dome. The famous bald cypress domes. And they're really spectacular, especially if you go down south over to that uh, road that goes out west. What's that out there? Flamingo, I guess, out there, out west? Right. Take that road to Flamingo, you see some spectacular bald cypress domes out there. They look really, really old, okay? So, that's about the shape, what I meant by the shape of the tree. You want to try and achieve, achieve that nice, soft dome on top, all right? Um... Let's get rid of some of this stuff. What we've talked about already. We're going to be talking about scale now. And this is all going to get really important. Besides the size of the trunk, and this influences the size of the trunk, this is going to be the most important thing in bonsai. If you keep this in mind when you're styling and working your trees, and um, everything else will take care of itself. The art will take care of itself. You'll have spectacular trees. Every one of them will be a masterpiece. All right. We say we want taper. No question. That's terrible. Let's try this again. <laughs> Let's try it again. All right. That's going to be even worse. All right. Two trunks of trees. Which one looks older? Can you see? That one? All right. Even, even if this was the same diameter. At the bottom, I think you'd agree, looks older. Right? Okay. Where was I going to go with this? Um, so, we want to achieve this taper. The tree should always get bigger from the bottom, smaller to the top, larger on the inside, to smaller on the outside. Okay, and that goes for every branch. On your tree. Even the secondary and tertiary branches. All right, if you do that throughout your whole tree, you're gonna get a really old looking tree. Rather than something that comes along and grows with no taper at all. Everything looks like a telephone pole growing off of it. Notice the downward for shaped branches growing upwards, okay? So the bigger the trunk is in scale in relationship to the overall size of the tree, the older the tree's gonna look. 
Ideally, you want to be able to take a picture of your bonsai without, without showing somebody the pot. Maybe you hide the pot behind a rock or something and take a picture of it and show somebody that picture. And they wouldn't be able to tell if that tree was that tall or if it was this tall or if it was 40 feet tall. And in fact, the people in California used to love to do that a lot with like the California junipers and stuff. They collect them in the mountains, get them styled out as beautiful bonsai. Then they take them back up to the mountains and put the pot behind a rock and take a picture of it. And people go, oh my gosh, look at that beautiful old tree. The tree's only this tall. But you see it in the picture and you swear that it's 60 feet tall. Alright, looks like a big old tree because you can't tell. Alright, so 